Eve says potential is the ability to summon Booba from the sky. Rias has been summoned. What an insane fucking power. But then again, it's high school DXD. It makes sense that whenever it's going serious, you get some kind of dumbass etchy moment that reminds us what peak, you know, etchy show really is. Let's see what happens in today's episode. Summon Opa! Literally summon Opa, yes. I mean, she was flexing her new um, underwear, her bikini that she got for Issei. Yes, we could. Wait, we should be able to summon like Akino too, huh? And the hero faction's like, did you just call, say, summon boobs? What are you talking? Don't. <laughs> she had no hesitation. She just straight up said, poke him. Poke him right now. Poke him. Poke him. Yes. Huh? Pochito. Pochito. Juggernaut Drive. No, in episode zero or no, episode one when we fight Sidor, they specifically mentioned Rias's nipples are a switch. If you honk him, he still gets even stronger. Why is he acting like he doesn't know what's going on right now? Come on, bro. Everybody knows this. Everybody is watching this, by the way. Hero Faction is on the side witnessing this happen. This dialogue saying, Issei, poke the nipples. They're just gonna let this happen? All right. This poor girl just gets summoned to get sexually harassed every time. Oh, wow. For the fucking 17th time? Oh my god, you can't do that in public? I mean, if you say so, Issei. Poor Ash is getting cucked on the side right now. I want everyone else's reaction to this though. What does the hero faction think right now? Are you ready for the moan? Dragon's ready for the moans. Is he crying because of how ridiculous this is and everyone is realizing, holy shit, this is the legendary red dragon emperor? You're just a booby So you're just crying because of this? Listen to it. I'm sorry, partner. <laughs> I'm sorry, partner. <laughs> Jesus! That might be the loudest moan we've ever gotten from Rias, huh? Oh, it's still going! Yo, is she fine? Did, did we just kill Rias? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He pokes her. I thought Issei would transform into Juggernaut Drive or something. She fucking goes into the sky. <laughs> she just oh, gets obliterated. Um, I guess she's sent back home, right? Like, surely, surely that's what's happening here right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> she just got sent to heaven, literally. Yeah, what was that just now? Um, you good? Potential. Here we go. What does this do? Here we go. What is it? Nostalgic? For what? So his true power is coming out. So when he was actually a dragon, had his physical body. This is his true powers. Oh, hello again. Oi! Belzer! Right? That's the strongest guy? Are we? What about Rias though? Is she fine? <laughs> She's not dead, right? Go? I thought you're here to mentor us and coach us. Wait, what? Break free from the sacred. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought you were gonna stick around and. <laughs> She's into the coca. <laughs> She's not into the booba. What is her switch? No, not everyone is horny like that. So it's like I'm thinking, if if titties are not her switch, you know. What else can she poke? Can she poke the dragon's fucking Excalibur? I, I don't know where we're going with this, but kind of sad that she's disappearing. I like her. Velzard still hasn't said a single line yet. Yeah, she doesn't care about titties. What do you mean free of the sacred gear, though? Velzard, you gonna say something? What's up, bro? The strongest male host. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he spread his leg like that? What? 
This is the strongest guy. This is the strongest. <laughs> I think he enjoyed that. <laughs> His only line. The strongest male host only line in this show is poke, poke. Ah. This fucking show, dude. This fucking show. All right, use your new powers. Let's see it. Yes, you are. Oh. What is Drake saying right now? I think it, basically all his base stats are super increased, right? Uncontrolled release is Juggernaut Drive. Now this is just all controlled, but without the negative impact of Juggernaut Drive? Okay. Wells, Blaster Bishop, new names, new modes? Bishop, obviously the Bishop piece. Oh, oh, what the fuck? This cannon beam, we saw this in like episode zero, I think. Just like a laser beam, right? Okay. No shot, you can deflect this. Okay. He's like, get the fuck out of the way. That guy was so ready to scrap and he was like, get the fuck out of the way. Okay, even Cow Cow is impressed by this. Warp? Just... This probably plays into the dimensional gap then, huh? If you can warp the dimension? Oh, so many different modes! Armor burns to make him go faster, I think. Don't tell me Cow Cow is gonna get one shot now because he got his power out. Okay, the Rook is obviously gonna be a bit bigger. I wonder what the Queen looks like. Don't underestimate the booby dragon. What are these subtitles? I want to see the queen mode. Oh man, if Cow Cow really got introduced just to get WAP like this immediately. Uh oh. Kuno, uh, don't do her dirty. Come on. Kuno, come on. Don't do. Why, your mom instead? I ain't beating the fucking allegations, bro. You could have showed her fucking mom. Anyways, I want to see if this all modes are based off the pieces, then I want to see like a queen or like a king mode. <laughs> Promote without a king. Okay, obviously it's gonna use power drain, right? You can't do this forever. But this is better than the negative effects with Jungna Tribe in the past. Okay, Cow Cow's still up! Like, he's a base human who took that hit. Like, isn't that insane? Does the spear give him more durability? It has to. Illegal? He's just breaking the rules? How so? Because he's able to promote without a king, I think. Oh, 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 okay, Greek weapon. Transformations based off the weapon. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we got a new move. Illegal move, Triana. Thank you. Truth? Truth? Wait, why are we backing off now? Why? Is that from the gap? From what Issei did? What is this again? The dimensional gap opening once more? Dragon Eater? Wait, what? That's not a dragon we've seen before. That's like an Asian dragon. Okay, okay, moments like this in high school DxD. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Cause like, new mythical beings titles show up and it's like, I'm supposed to know this? Okay, mischievous dragon, you long has shown up guys. Really important. I don't know why. Okay, one of the five dragon kings, along with, um, I think, Saji's dragon, right? This is so Asian, even the soundtrack. So, uh, this is the Buddha? This is Buddha? <laughs> he kind of looks like an older son Wukong, huh? Looks like that monkey did, like features. He got that monkey crown, too. He just smokes out of a pipe. This is Buddha, though? All right. <laughs> he's, 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 this... This Sun Wukong? No, it's, it's, it, this is Buddha. First generation Sun Wukong, but has a title Buddha. Fighting Buddha. Okay, different titles and names. Oh, I totally forgot. Sachi was fighting the Nine Tails before, right? They were doing that the entire time. Totally forgot about that. That was a fucking JoJo's reference. You monkey, but it's true. Ooh. Don't tell me.
Tell me he's gonna solo the hero faction right now. Is he really? Lost her blessing. Can you just stop cow cows people with one finger? What is up with the power scaling? This guy's insane. Yeah, and he looks pretty old too, huh? He's not even in his peak or prime yet. But what about the dragon eater? What happened to that? The gap opened and he showed up. Alright. Whoa! Shoot it! Nice. Did he just make that stronger? I want to believe he just made it stronger by doing that. Wait, he made a turn. Holy shit! He actually took his eye out. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. Oh, this almost sounds like a juggernaut drive. The truth idea. Yo, that sounded like a juggernaut drive that was about to happen for his own thing. You know, that was sick. Man, I was I thought that Sida Org and Volley were the only people I could get excited about. But Kao Kao has definitely, you know, turned it up a gear. And that last thing at the end, the truth idea, I don't know, but it looked like a juggernaut, you know, um drive type of incantation to go into a different mode. Pretty sick. Now, fan service incoming, because the mom is a MILF. We're about to see some woman's chest right now, bro. I, I guarantee you. We're about to see some foxy and milf titties. There we go. All right, we're reading our titties, first of all. So he can do booby lingled and he can, like, make other people understand the power to... This... This Buddha guy is insane. He just does everything. Turn back into the mother I know so that she can flash her titties. Yep, that's exactly what's about to happen, bro. You know, this is a very emotional moment, but I don't really have emotional ties with Kuno or the mom. That shit was kind of kind of rushed, but it's like, I'm just here for the fan service. Here it comes, guys. I'm sorry, Kuno. Your mom's got it like that. Look at her. I'm sorry, but come on now. You guys are gonna tell me you guys are heavily invested into the Kuno story? I don't think you guys are. You probably don't even know who her, like, her, what her name is. Alright, we got the mom back. Very happy reunion. I saw that Zenobia and Titi Chigal. I saw that. And this guy, Wukong, just shows up and just smoking out of his pipe. He solos the entire, like, fucking hero faction. And he just, like, doesn't even explain. Why did he show it up instead of Dragon Eater? Oh, the mother. Mother, you cannot wear that in public. What? Mother! Yeah, Saji is really useful, though, for sure. What the f- Okay, okay, okay. We just credit the great Buddha, but Lady Seraphal? What the fuck did she do? Tell me, straight up, can anybody tell me what Seraphal does in any of these fights? No, she's just there to be cute. And they say that, oh, she's doing, like, supervision because they can't get involved because if, you know, Seraphal or Azazel or Sarzix got involved, politics, that's a bullshit fucking answer. You know it too, bro. Nah, these leaders never show up because obviously they can't solve the kids' problems immediately. There will be no, you know actual friction if there wasn't it, it, there would be no like threat or difficulty but i just want to see seraphal actually okay if she's gonna be on the side fighting other forces sure but like show me some cool moments show me some cool transformation show me some cool fights from them too man i swear to god they just leech i will credit azazel though azazel actually shows up and he's actually such a good mentor too Yes, this is the main story of this arc right the raiding game with side org it's not over yet. Sidorg's doing fucking push-ups. Wait. One finger, one thumb push-ups. Huh? Oh, who is this girl? Ah, she's wearing glasses, though. Sidorg probably got new powers, too, huh? Okay. The Buddha came out in clutch. You're missing some key details here. Honestly, we've made this promise to a lot of people. Not just, you know, Sidorg, but now even recently, Vali and, you know, what's his name? 
uh, fucking cow cow. But anyways, that's a pretty fucking good episode. Like the power of Rias, the switch. We already knew Rias's titties were the switch, but this is a totally new one. We can actually just summon people. I'm not sure if this is restricted to Rias, but we can just summon boobs. We poke, then trigger happens. Then Issei is about to able to like access his origin powers to drive. Somehow this is like the juggernaut's like impure abilities from the past. That's like more cleaned up. So maybe it is just like a clean juggernaut drive i'm not really sure then he can use like evil pieces and turn to different modes and it's just more different beams and shit and this buddha guy is anyone gonna explain the buddha guy i don't know he would just like he just shows up with the pike solves everything and he leaves cow cow he's still pretty fucking strong he's kind of insane that like just with the weapon he can compete like the weapon surely has to improve his durability because these are just normal humans they shouldn't be able to take like the hits from fucking Issei right now, but I don't know if they're gonna ever explain that. But yeah, we got the raiding game with side or coming up. And honestly, I thought this Kyoto arc would be kind of boring. I thought it would be just like a, a sleeper arc before we get to the main good shit. But honestly, the hero faction stuff like that, this is fucking fantastic and kind of leads into like the end game of this series, right? But hey, if you guys are still here. If you'd enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.